So if you're having issues with the autoplay feature in Chrome and probably in other browsers as well, it's normal. Chrome has changed their policies last year and most browsers have followed suit as well. Uh, so we have to find alternatives if you're uh, a funnel builder or you're thinking about conversion. Uh, I'll share some tips and some things you can um, think about and evaluate and maybe try on your website and hopefully um, you know increase engagement in increase click-through uh, plays on your video. So the first thing to think about is that the autoplay feature might work in some cases. Uh, on desktop it might work without the sound from the tests I've, I've seen, it doesn't always work, so you can't guarantee it. Uh, other browsers is the same as well. Uh, so you can still use it, uh, but it might not work. If it works, it will be muted. So this is um, Vimeo. You see that people will have to mouse over, find the unmute, and go and click here on the volume. This is a uh, YouTube embed, and basically people will have to mouse over, find the unmute, click it then what's going to happen people will unmute but if you're five seconds or 10 seconds into the video people will miss the first part so that's the problem um, and you might have seen it and on phone and tablet most likely it won't autoplay so it will revert to a thumbnail so that's why what i suggest is uh, if you go to this blog post so option one and you can test all of those things and just reload the page access the blog post and click the orange buttons for some of the other additional uh, ways of doing things so the first one create the thumbnail with a call to action on it and maybe an arrow pointing to the play button that's definitely um, something you should do, even if you want to use the autoplay, whatever you do, if you want to increase conversions or click through plays, uh, then uh, having those two things can be very good. If you do that and you still see people uh, from your stats not clicking on it and maybe scrolling down your page, then what you can do is create a page like this where the only thing is the video, clear call to action, clear arrow, people will start play and what I've done here is that after 10 or 12 seconds the rest of my landing page shows up so it's something if depending on the tool you use I'm using WordPress with Thrive Architect it's a feature called content reveal and with a timer so after 10 seconds for example the rest of the page can load up so it forces people will assume uh, the only thing I can do is play the video they will start the video so that can be a way of doing things there's definitely pros and cons. Think about it. Um, maybe people do not want to play a video because they're on the phone or it's at night or whatever the case may be. So you'll have to use your judgment um, and see if you, most of your users, users are on desktop or uh, mobile. But that's something that can be uh, tested. The other way is uh, to use Wistia with their um, video thumbnail so that's an example here we see as a free plan up to three videos uh, totally free so if you use a funnel for example that definitely something to consider and basically it's a five second clip roughly of the beginning of your video and uh, there's a play there there's a play there and there's an unmute and regardless of where you click it will start the video from the beginning so people will not miss the first few seconds of the video so that's an option um, i like if you have more than three videos it's it starts at 99 dollars per month for wistia and um, they have a bandwidth fees as well so if you have a lot of traffic uh, just make sure you calculate how much bandwidth uh, will be used because there's a surcharge on the bandwidth. Other ways of achieving similar things is I'm using, so in my case, I'm using Thrive Architect. So I can set a um, animated GIF as a, a video thumbnail. So part of the tool uh, that's built in so you can create an animated GIF of yourself in this case upload it on in WordPress and use it. Just be aware that can be three, four meg just for that thumbnail. So something to think about. Basically, if you click on it, it zooms like this. So that's one way. Uh, this is another way. I'll just refresh the page. So basically, I'm using a background section in Thrive Architect. You might have something equivalent in whatever page builder that you're using. And uh, basically, it's a video streaming 
you know, in that section with the play button, you click on it and it zooms a light box where the video is uh, played. So that's something that you could try, A, B test it, maybe see if uh, you get better uh, click throughs on those. So those are some options. Of course, you can still use the autoplay. Uh, just be aware the sound will be muted. There, there are some examples here. Uh, you could use some arrows and close captioning as well. So that's something uh, in some cases on mobile, uh, something you can use some close captioning like this and um, a bit more work, but it can be effective. So that's something to think about. If you're looking for more inspiration, I've got a blog post here I've written where uh, you'll see a bunch of examples so have a look, there's a bunch of examples, but you could use uh, videos for lead magnets, for example. You could use something like that, a widget on your page where people can click play and uh, scroll and have you talk over the blog post. So that can be very effective as well. Um, you can use something like a full screen, full width video background where you click play. There's a pop-up like this, so that can be another way. And there are all sort of other features and things that you can try. I think video is great for conversion, and it's just a you know a way of um, the way that you decide to display it can have even a better effect on conversion. So have a look at this and um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'd like to know more and try to uh, answer them.